Hey everybody, in this video we're going to mount the Hummingbird depth finder in my Malibu skier boat. So the first thing we gotta do is look at location and where we're gonna mount it. Basically I gotta look at, in my panel here, it's not much room. Basically you're gonna probably put it right through the steering wheel right here because that's accessible to drilling and there's nothing behind it. So with my hole saw, two and an eighth, we're gonna drill a hole right in there and get ready to mount the depth finder. And there's our hole right there, and big mess as always. So there we are right there, basically just feed your wires through the hole. Right there, and I gotta get underneath with this, and then screw it on the back side to tighten it down. The kit comes with a whole bunch of other different colors of dials and faces to match your gauges, and since the rest of my gauges are white except for my hour meter, I'm gonna put my Hummingbird depth finder as white also. So the first part there is just peel and stick. And I think this cover here. I'm not sure, I better go check it out before I break it. Yeah, and then the white face actually just pushes on. I just didn't want to break it when I was filming. So there's the whole view of the dash. Fuel gauge, gonna have to check it out. It doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if it's a sensor or what the hell, but I'm gonna check that out at a later date. So now we gotta look for a place to put the transducer and um, can't put it here because of the thing and there's to be too much turbulence with the prop and I can't mount it up farther because of the fins and the rest of the bow is kind of curvy so it only gives me one last place is right where the suction is and uh, Maybe that might possibly work, maybe not, because I don't want to mount it on the back of the boat. I'd rather mount it in the hull. It's cleaner. But yeah, I just want to show you. There's a quite a bit of water that came out from the frame. I did the front too. Got the suction put on. We're going to fire it up now and see if I get the oil changed. The oil filter I got looks a little bit bigger than the marine one that's on it. I did get a short filter for Chevy 350. I'm not sure if it'll work, but I can pull it off and see. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try to mount the transducer right in there after we start the boat and let it run for a bit. I'm gonna make sure the heater works and everything else. Too much luck fishing the uh, welding cable or welding wire through the hull so I can fish the wire through, but in the meantime, we're gonna get the transducer mounted. I got some marine epoxy with just slow going, the paintbrushes. Get it mounted in the hull where I sanded it down. It's gotta dry it off. We're gonna mix the epoxy and then. Um, Paint it on the brush, paint her on the floor, and give her. So the base is all covered with epoxy, and so is the place where I'm putting it. I'm gonna mount it, push it down, squeeze it, push it down, squeeze it like that. Try to work out the air bubbles, and then we're gonna weight it. I just need the right tool for the job. I forgot I had this snake here. I think it's like a plumbing snake or something. I was using like a welding wire because it usually works pretty good for fishing wires to the wall, but. Fish this out and I couldn't get it out and actually it caught on this cable and was pulling it through so we're just going to connect the end to that and tape it up and then pull that bitch through and then we're good. Alright we got her taped up there I'll just show you quickly. Now I'm going to use the fish here to fish it through. There we go I just want to show you I fished the cable through I just got to plug her in and then put the put this cover back in place and call her good. Now everything looks good so if you have any questions or concerns you can uh, comment below or follow me at Twitter Bullshit Corner.